dour downfalls today. Mm. Yeah, because you mentioned you briefly mentioned earlier about social media. Yeah. You mentioned the algorithm. I'm assuming YouTube algorithm and yeah. social media algorithms, etc. You also mentioned that there's we have access to scholars today. We have yeah. access to knowledge today. But do you believe that the art people involved in the dawa aren't concerned with knowledge or aren't focusing on knowledge or how else can I put it? They're not really. They don't see the this, the value of it in the dawa. Do you think there is a problem there, or what's your what's your take on that? Because why are these mm. problems arising? Then, right? Is it just that they they're seeking knowledge, but just the way the nature of social media yeah. it just it wraps people up? Well, what's going on? There needs to be some sort of grounding, bro. You know, I think me and you've discussed it as well many times that the need to study the Quran more. Uh, that we've done the dawa training, we've learned dawa tips, we've done street dawa. We've gone out there, but how much ilm are we doing? How much are we building ourselves? And how much is the dawa Quranic, which is a big like hole, right? So. Uh, what do you mean one, by that? Is the Dawah Quranic? Well, because we need to. So there's many ways of looking at it. Number one, we should, if we're going to be in the Dawah seriously, that we need to improve our own relationship with the Quran. We need to maybe study the Quran more, which is Tafsir, Tadabur, uh, and, and all that. And also in the Dawah itself, literally practically, like for example, holding the Quran and reciting verses of the Quran, opening up, just like other uh, people of other religions do. So on the Dawah stalls, have the Quran with you, uh, Mushaf or the Quranly app. Hey, so you know you can have that open it up use it you know um, and recite the verses of the Quran the Wahi to people so uh, at you, don't the moment, see, you don't see much of that happening I don't see and I think there needs to be a massive improvement within myself and everyone else so when the, the knowledge it grounds you the knowledge humbles you bona fide qualified scholars who've done 8 years 10 years 15 years of learning right texts Quran, Sunnah, tradition uh, Mufassirs you know Muhaddith so when I sat with these scholars and you know people like Dr. Fazal Allahi uh, who's the Sheikh of Raja Zia, uh, Dr. Suhail Hassan, who's the brother of Shreb. So, you know, mashallah, you have all these ulama, qualified scholar, scholars. You really understand, okay, this is real knowledge. And then you understand for things like disease of the heart. You actually understand it a bit more now. You understand that, you know, the dawah, if, if you are, if you're always giving dawah and not seeking knowledge, and that's going to, you know, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to bring out weaknesses within you, within your dawah and within your own personal Do you think the partner. opposite is the case too? Meaning that there are the, the brothers and sisters seeking knowledge yes. are not yeah. involved in the there dawah is, to yeah. the level they should be. There are there are way too many brothers, and this may come across really strange, but they're, they're seeking knowledge, mashallah, but are they sharing that knowledge enough? Are they sharing with the people that need it? Are they really connecting with the youth, non-Muslims, 